Lubrication system. Lubrication is a means of reducing friction and wear. The purpose of the lubricant is to prevent sliding surfaces from touching. Methods of application are film lubrication, where a thin film of oil is maintained between two surfaces, which prevents the surfaces from touching. And boundary lubrication, which is a near state of breakdown of lubrication. The lubricant thickness is reduced to almost nothing and the surfaces are very close to touching. Lubricant requirements are as follows. Wet surfaces to be lubricated. A viscosity suitable for high loading and speed over a wide temperature range. A low evaporation rate at normal engine temperatures. Protection of surfaces against corrosion and no damage to surfaces that, that come into contact with each other. Aircraft oil systems. There are two main types of system in use. The wet sump, which is rarely used, and the dry sump. The dry sump system has a separate pump mounted adjacent to the engine. It contains an oil reserve and a pressure filter is fitted after the pressure pump to ensure clean oil is delivered to the engine. The engine driven pressure pump delivers more oil than system requires to facilitate cooling. A sump forms a collector tank where oil drains from components lubricated. The scavenge pump removes oil from the engine, has a greater capacity than the pressure pump, oil passes through a scavenge filter before it goes to the pump. An oil cooler is located after the scavenge pump to cool the oil before it returns to the tank. An oil cooler bypass valve allows returning oil to bypass the cooler at low ambient temperatures. For the wet sump system, there's no separate oil tank. The sump serves as the oil tank as well. If the aircraft were to become inverted, oil would drain from the sump into the cylinders.